three, two, one, a boink! Hey, how y'all doing? I hope y'all is having a good day. I'm uh, back. I'm hooked up to, well, don't get that in there because you just screwed with the camera, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Anyways, um, but I got my uh, little my little bag hooked up to me and hooked up to my port, pumping more juice into me there. Um, I got a triplet. They, they upped my stuff yesterday, so it took a little bit longer uh, to, to get out because it was another hour and a half for the third drug that they're not now uh, pumping into me. So, well, this, I guess, technically is the third drug. So they got two in me already. Um, and this is the, the other one. It was basically, you know, I know it's politically incorrect, but I said it again. It's like my doctor is a lady. She's very smart, very, very amazing woman. But I also went back to being an old man. And I said, Stacy, hit like a girl. And she she's hit me harder. And I respect her very much for that. And uh, my job now is to weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. And uh, yeah, so I'm trying to keep a good attitude. And last night I'm thinking like, yeah, I, I kind of want a, a fun song to play. I don't know why what's with me, the, the fun songs turn out. Technically the one I, I picked for today is the, the lyrics are not, I mean, it's a, the song is, uh, Elvis did it first, but I, I like, um, uh, uh, yeah, cheap tricks version better of don't be cruel. And, you know, it's, you know, I, it's kind of depressing. I, you know, I can be found sitting all alone. If you can't come around, at least please telephone and don't be cruel. Do you If I make you mad, something I might have said, please forget my past. Future looks kind of hell. And um, with the uh, with the uh, cheap trick version at the end of the uh, the official video, uh, the video that they used to play on MTV, uh, I don't know if it's terrifying or um, as hilarious as I think it's meant to be. But Bunny Carlos at the end is in a is one of the, in one of them tight uh, white Elvis uh, jumpsuits, and it's he's smart. He turns around smoking a cigarette, and it's just it's. Both terrifying and hilarious all at the same time. Um, before I go into the chords, if you could like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm doing this this whole... Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I feel like I should be saying I'm trying to be an inspiration for people. If I can do this while I'm hooked up to chemo pump and I'm still trying to... Be positive and all that good stuff. Oh, another thing is I, I keep saying that I do not... I've Well, I've never paid... I think the most I've ever paid for a guitar was $280, and that was for my Epiphone uh, hollow body with the, the Bigsby on it, and that was with delivery and everything, and I went crazy on that one. I thought it was the best guitar I would ever buy. Um, so I think that was the most I've ever spent for a guitar, including the one that I have in my hand. What you can do after you buy these things and own them for a while and go crazy because it has a freaking Floyd Rose on it. Um, no offense to Floyd Rose. I just can't stand these things. And it took me forever to figure out how to get them set. Is mine perfect right now? No, but is it there? Yes. Um, is it still a pain in my ass? Oh, yeah, man. But I did go out and kind of looked around, and this uh, Michael Battaglio, um, Angelo Battaglio, I can't remember if I pronounced his last name correct, correct, correctly, um, Battaglio? Uh, anyway, uh, four is uh, I looked around, and the, the lowest price I could find was $450 for this thing. I didn't know I owned a guitar that was worth this much. So uh, don't mind me. I almost put it down and stopped playing it. But the reason I picked it for that song was because of Rick Nielsen from Cheap Trick, and he has the one of the most amazing guitar collections in the world. And uh, he's always playing non-traditional stuff for you know this you you would expect. Well, 
or you know uh But you know, then you go out and play. Uh expect that song to come out of somebody holding a guitar like this you know that's all it's just a appearance kind of thing anyways i hope that was most of what i had to say today i think it was but i'm not sure like i said they're giving me new drugs so this is an adventure in in um everything basically uh i haven't even really felt i haven't smoked any marijuana today because i haven't felt like it I did just take some uh, of uh, um, edibles. It's a liquid that I took. I, I, that I did buy them out of all their uh, CBD um, drinkables, but um, I thought I had more. So I, had, I just had to take a, just all THC right now. I um, haven't really felt like eating. had a protein drink, so that, that, that helped out a little bit. Uh, but I haven't really felt like eating yet. Uh, and I got some stuff, uh, the chicken salad sandwich. I made chicken salad. It was really good. I think maybe I'll go toast up some bread and try a chicken salad sandwich um but uh yeah this is this is all just a new and interesting kind of thing for me a little bit of a uh check-in for those of you who are looking for the uh the cancer stuff and uh and what happens to people on drugs uh well state-sponsored drugs is what i call them you know mainstream medical um and i'm trying to get away from those but uh yeah, we'll talk about that more at, a, at some other time, especially a needle they tried to spring on me yesterday. They're like, when you come back, we're just going to go right in your stomach. I'm like, uh, no, you're not. And what is this for? And I found out that I had already been, my naturopath had already given me stuff that that is basically along the same exact lines. And it's like, okay, I don't want your shot. Thank you. And the dude was like, oh, well, you know, we don't usually worry about it until it's at a thousand and yours is at a six thousand so so we can skip this one but you know if it starts falling we're gonna have to re and i'm like that's fine we'll uh, i'll keep doing what i'm doing you do what you're doing and we'll meet again some other time so um yeah just the whole needles thing is just creeps me out man anyway um i hope you all having a great day i hope you all i hope this sound comes out okay it seems a little low to me but it might be mixed a little better i don't know i'll have to wait and see because it all comes out in a wash basically and uh Always look up, man. He's there for you. And uh, I hope you all is having a great day. And I hope you all have an even better day. I'll see you then. Peace.